Hello, welcome to another talk on money, business, and investing. My name is Jose. I'm the founder of the company and brand here at Master Investor. Ensure to subscribe and follow us on all social media platforms to stay up to date with financial education. Turn on the notifications so that we know when we go live or upload a valuable talk on money, business, and investing that can literally change our finances as long as we apply the information that we are learning. Remember the three key points that we must do every time we learn something new. So the first thing is to observe, learn, acquire the knowledge from the right mentor. And then the second thing is to apply in our lives, get the experience. And then the third thing is to teach somebody else, whether it's through video or one-on-one, because that's how we become masters and we improve our skills. It's all about improving every single day, becoming a little better than we were yesterday. Small steps, being consistent, persistent, and having the attitude of discipline, being focused on the investment plan that we have laid out for our finances. Remember that investing here at Master Investor is defined as having a plan. Investing is a plan. And we recommend everyone to have a plan before doing any investing. And one of the first things we should also do is to invest in our financial education before we go into any investment vehicle. We need to have a plan. We need to also have financial education so that we have the right knowledge to execute when it comes down to investing and be able to actually capitalize on return on investment quickly because it's not about collecting later on it's about having that cash flow flowing into our pockets right now how fast can we get that money back that we invested are we using all of our capital or are we using majority of the amount of capital we're investing through debt through financing or are we using just our capital. Remember here at Master Investor, we encourage everyone to become creative when it comes to investing, meaning that we gotta use OPM. And that's the topic of today is using OPM to even invest in stocks and the asset class of paper assets. There are five different asset classes that exist when it comes to investing. Number one, business. Number two, real estate. Number three, crypto. Number four, paper assets. Number five, commodities. And when it comes to paper assets, stocks are in that asset class. And we can use a margin account to increase profits, but at the same time, it can also increase our losses. Margin accounts have to be done through a broker. We need to have a broker in between, and we need to basically set up the account. Once it's established, we need to use collateral such as stocks that we already own to be able to use leverage in that margin account. And it's basically leverage calls and we're using OPM, other people's money. We're gonna use the broker's money and we're going to actually acquire more stocks than if we're just using our own capital through a cash account. Margin accounts comes with its risk and all it takes is getting to know about them through financial education. That's why we create our eBooks. We have digital courses and we encourage everyone to understand how to invest successfully, how to create a winning business plan that creates positive cash flow and that actually raises capital from potential investors and also from the front end, which is the end user, right? We need to create a business that raises money from the front end, the end user, the customers, and we need to do that through sales funnels. The businesses have to be set up through systems because a true business is a system of systems doing the selling and telling for us. So we need to understand systems when it comes to business because we cannot go far without systems. Otherwise, you end up having a job, owning a job. We don't want to be the CEOs of our company. We want to always be the chairman of our companies, which is the highest position. A CEO is an employee of a company. We hire the CEO. We put people in places, we delegate. We understand about doing less and making more, having more freedom. That's what we do What we do here at Master Investor is that we work to build passive income and multiply capital through sound investing so that we get more freedom. The more cash flow we have, the more freedom we get. Meaning that we have more 
buying power, we can get more things, more luxury items, if that's what we like. We can get anything that we want because we have assets that are paying us positive cash flow into our income column. And we focus on the assets column. A lot of people, when we look at their financial statements, all they focus on is in their income column. The assets column is empty. Sometimes they call an asset what is really a liability, such as their house, because if they're paying for that house mortgage every single month, and they have to work hard to pay for that mortgage, then, and the interest and the maintenance, then that's a liability for them, even though the house may go up on value. Onto the house, puts money into their pocket every single month and the house mortgage get pays on its own, then it will remain a liability to them, but an asset to their bank, for sure. On the bank's paperwork, on their financial statement, it looks like an asset, but on the customer's financial statement, on the landlord is a liability, unless the landlord becomes financially savvy and turns that around into an Airbnb operation and now is getting the rent from those tenants that are staying there during the month using that money to pay for the mortgage and then keeping the rest as positive cash flow. And that will be an asset then. But the difference is in the way the cash flow flows. Is it flowing into our pocket or is it flowing out of our pocket? And if the debt is getting paid on its own, then it goes hand to hand with an asset. Good debt goes hand to hand with an asset because it's making us wealthy and it's getting paid on its own. We don't pay for the interest. We don't pay for the maintenance or the debt service of, of the loan that we obtain, right? So we got to be comfortable using OPM, other people's money. It's very important to build true wealth. So people that talk about being debt-free are insane because that is not how you build true wealth. It's actually the very opposite. We need to learn how to manage risk, how to calculate risk at all time because investing comes with risk. However, it's the investor at the end that makes the investment risky or not. It's the level of financial education that we have, our financial IQ needs to be up to date because we are acquiring data every single day. We're learning new words about business. We're expanding our vocabulary, which is another point that I wanna stress on this extraordinary video, is that we need to speak the lingo of the ultra wealthy. Context is more important than content. We have to replace what we've been taught about money. A lot of people are operating with the old rules of money. That's why we created the 10 new rules of money. We also have how to build cash flow with the internet term passive income on. We have the other ebook that we released not too long ago, which is how to invest in crypto to build wealth. And we're releasing our fourth ebook very soon, which is how to raise capital to build wealth. Everything that we need to know about business and investing and creating true wealth we will find it inside of our eBooks and digital courses. All of our products are catered to improve our financial intelligence, which in result gives us the ability to raise capital because that's the job number one of a wealthy entrepreneur is to raise capital successfully. The number one skill is to master how to sell without selling using systems and smart marketing. And that's what we're learning how to do inside of our community as well, how to obtain unlimited leads for any type of business how to have content syndicated throughout the entire web, pulling in leads that are wanting what we have to offer. Remember, it's supposed to be an easy transaction because we're putting the message in front of the right group of people. We understand our customer, we understand who we are selling to, who has the problem that we're solving, and we're putting that message in front of them so easily that they can grab, purchase, and repeat. And that is true marketing. That is what a targeted marketing is all about. It's finding that group of people that is saying, hey, I want the product. I have the car right here ready. I'm ready to purchase it. I want to solve this issue. And that is our preferred customer. And also we need to do a strategy to win new customers from our competitors. And the way we do that is by having an innovation department in our organization, meaning that we're always attempting to create new ways, new products, less resources, more quality, better quality, higher quality, more affordable. How can we 
impact the customer even better than what we're doing now? How can we maintain that customer close to us for a lifetime and also turn that customer into a marketing machine for us? Because once we exceed people's expectations because we are on their promise and, and over delivering, we have that attitude, then people will start talking about our businesses and the experiences that they have with our businesses. And that's the best marketing. Because once we tell somebody that we had a great experience over here, that person doesn't need to even be sold anymore. They're, they're already purchased the item. They already purchased the idea, whatever they're looking for to obtain. So understanding how to build rapport with our customers, how to maintain that communication cycle with them, understanding what they need, what they want. We have to listen to them because they will tell us exactly where we need to go with our companies. And remember to add intrinsic value, meaning that we're protecting our products. We're registering the logo. We're trademarking the name of our businesses. We're protecting anything that is valuable that we do unique through the legalities is very important. Otherwise, somebody can come and take and they wrong with it and they protect it and now it's theirs. So let's do the boring things. The legalities is important that we invest in a professional attorney that knows exactly how to navigate the law successfully for the ultra wealthy mindset, okay? Not all attorneys, not all professionals are for the ultra wealthy. And the way we find out is by the way we communicate with them. That's why it's important that we have the vocabulary of the ultra wealthy. Inside of our ebook, How to Build Cash Flow with the Internet, on the last chapter, 49th chapter, it has a library of all the words that we need to know about business, okay? So get that ebook, it has 580 pages long, it's an amazing digital course. It's going to literally change our context and provide us with a total guide step-by-step -step on how to take an idea and turn it into a million and more dollar operation of positive cash flow. Okay, that's what we want to have coming in every single year or more or whatever it is. Everybody's wealth number is different. Okay, it depends on the individual and their standard of living. But here at Master Investor, we always encourage everyone to live above our means, to always expand, never shrink. It's not about saving. Savers are losers in this new economy because money is not longer real money. Remember 1971, August 15, that's when President Nixon separated the gold standard from the US dollar. From that point forward, money became monopoly money, fake money, and just an idea backed up by confidence. Meaning that once we master how to write winning business plans, and we can present that with a cash flow analysis to the right eyeballs, to the right investors, to the right banks, then we can raise capital unlimited. We can raise any type of capital to acquire assets, fully financed. We use an OPM, other people's money, and that's tax-free from the beginning because the law says all debt is tax-free because money is created with debt after 1971. That's when we began with the new economy. And a lot of people still playing with the old rules of money, acting as if today money is backed up by gold and it's real money. Gold is the real money, but it's no longer attached to the dollar. And the reason why we did that is because we are a country that imports more than exports. So if the dollar is attached to the gold and we are importing products, every single day from our enemies, from countries like China and other countries that maybe we don't have the best relationships, let's just say that, we're giving all our gold away, so we couldn't do that. By this time, we would have been out of gold. And I think that was the best change in the law because it gives us an opportunity to become ultra wealthy because now money's created with debt. It's created literally from 10 air. And all we have to do is get financially educated to be able to raise capital be able to know how to ask money the right way. So creating the right businesses that raises capital from the front end, meaning that it has something to offer to the customer and it's so well put together that the customer feels very comfortable purchasing from that website, from that system, and we need to use professional systems. And that's why inside of our digital course, how to build cash flow with the internet, we laid out the entire map on how to do that. Literally, it'll take you 
by the hand on how to turn the idea into a real business that turns into a brand because we're adding intrinsic value, we're protecting what we do that is unique so no one else takes it from us. And then we also have business integrity, which means that the business is making a profit. It's making a positive cash flow. And we need to have the A integrities of a successful business, which is found inside of our ebook explained through the cash flow triangle, which details the A integrities that are essential in a successful business. And it starts with a mission and it goes with a team, leadership, cash flow communications, systems, legal, and product. It's not just the product, the most important item of the business, or people tend to think that, right? I have the best idea, I have the best product, but they forget everything else. They don't have a mission, they haven't even thought of the team that they're going to put together behind that operation. A lot of entrepreneurs become their own, they, they become the asset, they become the employee of their own business. They become the CEO. We don't want to do that here at Master Investor. We want to make sure that our money is working hard for us and our businesses are working hard for us. Yes, we're going to have some sleepless nights, right? We're going to put in the time and so forth, but we're working to build passive income, which is a type of income that comes in whenever we're not working. Once it's built, once the operation is going, that income is coming in and we move to the next thing to build another freedom unit, right? Because it's giving us more freedom, the more cash flow we're getting. And that's the whole purpose, to focus on the assets column rather than the income column. People focus on the income column because they lack financial education and they cannot understand how to raise capital, how to create an investment. Remember here at Master Investor, we're striving to be an inside investor. An inside investor, there are five different categories of investor. Credit investor is number one. The second one is qualified investor. And then we have sophisticated investor. Then we have inside investor and ultimate investor. The inside investor is the one that creates the investment. And that's the best type of investor because we can raise capital. Because we put in the deal together. We're creating the brand, we're launching the business. We're putting the finance together, the team together. And then once we have a operation that everybody wants to be part of, then we can turn it into a public company where it gets exposed into the stock exchange and people can actually invest in it through pay per assets. And that makes us an ultimate investor. That's what an ultimate investor is. The difference between an inside investor and an ultimate investor is that the ultimate investor has taken a company public. And it's a great learning experience that we should all experience at some point and actually do with our companies. But the idea is to get to the inside investor status. Does it require money to make money? No, it doesn't. What it requires is financial education because once we have the knowledge, we can raise capital. So we don't have to use our own capital to invest. And when we do have our own capital, then we need to use that capital to raise more capital so that we can combine it and invest it in sound assets that we control with our companies that are producing passive income right now. We don't want to wait 10 years, 20 years, you know, maybe down the road we'll do some investments that are long term. But right now, when you're trying to get out of the rat race, then the idea is to put a plan together that will get you to what is the standard of living cost that the person currently has today and then create that passive income to exceed that amount so that the person breaks away from the rat race, becomes financially free, and now is able to improve the financial statements. And we talked about how to improve financial statements and how to read them because that's the foundation of true wealth on our last video. So make sure you go back because we have tremendous value just on the free content that we're offering to our members. I appreciate the time for being here. Make sure you share the content. If you have any questions, drop it below in the comment section. We're gonna come back and answer them. The feedback is important to us. And remember, it's all about the message, right? Let's become the messenger. What type of message are we giving to our people, to our community, to our customers, whoever we're speaking to? We need to become more focused and aligned to our goals so that we are creating the environment that is necessary to manifest our dreams. And we can start changing the environments right now and also become resourcefulness because that's when we use everything that we have around us. We're grateful, 
we may not have everything at the moment, but we're gonna use what we have right now. We're going to turn it into even more. We're gonna pivot and use it as a echelon to get to that next goal. Financially and also for our personal life, but financially is so important to reach those goals financially because we can't go far without money. Money is one of the most important elements, if not the most important of this life. And I don't see why people shouldn't be investing today, even if they love their job. They did a study that about 80%, 85% of people hate their job where they work. And a lot of them stay working at that job for the entire life because they're too afraid of making mistakes they feel that investing may be too risky for them, so they end up giving the money away to somebody else, to the company, to invest it for them. And all they have to do is invest in financial education and an ebook and something that will inspire you, that will teach you how to invest like the wealthy ourselves, not somebody else for us. How to do it ourselves, how to create our brand, how to launch our idea into the marketplace. Remember, a business is created to solve a problem. So what type of problem do we want to solve? Master Investor's mission is to elevate the financial well-being of humanity. Through high quality financial education made simple, we look at opportunities to build passive income and true wealth. It's all about connecting with the right mentors, listening to the right people, reading the right content. Today we have access to information that we have never experienced before, which makes it easier to become wealthy, but at the same time, ironically, makes it harder for some people because the information that they're getting is the wrong information. So if you're running with the wrong information, then the consequences will come with that. And a lot of times people get wiped out. That's why it's important to understand how to invest like the ultra wealthy, using the business principles that work in all economies. That's why we bring you the good and bad news of money here on our channel. Make sure you go to our podcast and subscribe over there because we're dropping golden nuggets weekly and we are going to be bringing wealthy entrepreneurs and inside investors to give us wisdom and share with us their experiences that they have throughout their journey so that we can grab that and use it for our own experience so that we can improve our financial statement specifically that passive income that's coming from the asset column. And sometimes we'll get capital gains income because some assets will only give us capital gains income. Remember, three types of income that exist in the world. Earned income comes from a job, exchange time for money. It's also called ordinary income or active income. Physically have to be exchanging time for money, okay? And then that stacks at the highest bracket. And then we have the other two types of income which comes from investing which is capital gains income and passive income, or also known as positive cash flow. We're gonna be focusing on passive income because it takes higher financial education to acquire that than capital gains income. And once we acquire passive income, automatically we'll get access to capital gains income. But the idea is to be comfortable raising capital and understand that money is created with debt. And so we're going to be using debt to become wealthy. It's a great tool to give us leverage. That's why we use it in real estate. That's why we also use it to uh, minimize taxes. It's all about how much money we keep, how much money we keep working and sound investing, and how we make that money. And the least amount of taxes that we can pay it's key because that's actually a very patriotic thing to do, to pay no taxes. This country was built in the idea of paying no taxes because it's a capitalist country. And it, the highest level of investor, the ultimate investor, the inside investor is a capitalist. The master investor is a capitalist. This country is founded in those principles. So people that think that paying taxes is a great thing to do is actually no it's going against what this country is all about this is very different than many nations around the world this is the 
country for the opportunity to become wealthy, to take anyone from rags to riches. And it can happen very quickly due to technology today. Before it was harder, it was much longer the process, but now we can actually expedite ourselves to wealth. So it shouldn't take long. We need to see results. We need to see that passive income coming in. And we need to master how to get leads every single day using video marketing like we're experiencing right now. YouTube is the most visited website in the world. People like visual. And so we can put our brands and position ourselves in the marketplace through video marketing, through articles, inform informative articles that are helping the reader solve the problem and give them the right data. Remember, information is keen. Knowledge is the new money. Organized information is keen. The right knowledge with the right reference, creating that reputation that we are a source of proper knowledge, then that's going to pay a long way. It's going to bring us tremendous wealth because that's what the world needs, authentic sources of data. There's a lot of garbage going around, such as if you want to be wealthy, get debt free, right? That's such a bad mindset to have because it goes against all the principles of a master investor. We want to use as much debt as possible. We want to be in debt. And when we have good debt working for us because it's making us money, good debt makes us money because it's put into an asset and that asset is making cash flow and we're using that cash flow to pay for the debt service, the interest, and it's living as positive cash flow, that's good debt. We're gonna use good debt to pay also for bad debt. So there's nothing wrong with having bad debt. We are going to have bad debt if you like to have nice things. And we're going to have good debt pay for that bad debt. So we first figure out good debt with an asset so that we pay for whatever bad debt and the liability that we want to have in our lives. A lot of people do it backwards. They get all the liabilities and then they run to a job to work hard for the liabilities. And they don't even get to enjoy those liabilities or the car, the house, because they're working at the job too hard to pay and keep up for those bills instead of having businesses and systems doing the selling and telling for them. And that's the difference. I call it pajama money, right? Going to sleep and being able to make money. Think about that. Going to sleep, making sales. You know, all we need to make a million dollars per year on positive cash flow is $2,700 around there per day on profits. That's about $1.90 per minute. Every single minute, we need to make a dollar ninety cents, a dollar ninety cents in profits. If we do that the entire year, that's a million dollars in positive cash flow. Okay. So think about that. When we break it down, we reverse engineer our goals. It's a lot easier. And baby step counts. They make all the difference at the end of the day. Don't take for granted what we have right now, this moment. If we're alive, take the leap of faith. We have to make sure that we are acting and we're not just listening, we're not just reading. We need to use that information and take action. We don't have to be perfect, okay? We're gonna get feedback, whether it's good or bad. Take it as feedback. Listen to our customers, bring value to them, okay? Innovate in our companies. Very important to stay ahead of the competition. Protect ourselves, protect the companies. Invest in our team and our professional team attorney, CPA, bookkeeper, and many others, okay? Five different categories of investors, remember. A credit investor, qualified investor, sophisticated investor, inside investor, ultimate investor. We're striving to be inside investor and it requires financial education. It doesn't take money to make money, not necessarily. It takes financial education first for us to be able to even make money, make money. A lot of people have money in the bank account because they lack financial education. That money doesn't make money for them. So it's not money that makes us money. It's financial education, it's knowledge. It's what we have right here, our financial IQ, okay? So let's improve that and let's continue to build our assets column. Remember that a margin account when it comes to paper stocks or paper assets, I call it stocks, 
we need to have a broker, we need to get it set up, we need to use collateral, we can buy up to 50% of the purchase of the stock, we can borrow that from the broker, and we need to have a team and we need to make sure we have a plan and assume the risk that it comes with it because a lot of people can say that margin accounts can be risky and they could be, but with the right knowledge, with the right strategy, we can win much bigger than cash accounts because we have more buying power. We have borrowed money that we're using. We're using OPM, other people's money, which is key, right? Getting into debt, using the broker's money to acquire more stocks and winning more. And of course, sometimes losing more because at the same time that it increases the potential of winning, it increases the potential of the losses as well. So keep that in mind. Let's make sure that we take action on what we're learning. Let me know what you have learned on this video down below. Let's open a conversation of financial education topics. Any question about your brand or any idea, let us know. Go to our website, we have a newsletter as well. Get our eBooks, how to build cash flow with the internet, turn passive income on, the 10 new rules of money, how to invest in crypto to build wealth. I appreciate you being here. We're gonna do a video every single day. We're gonna upload it on, on YouTube. We're gonna stay consistent and we're gonna make sure that we're building true leaders, inside investors and wealthy entrepreneurs. Remember, an inside investor is a master investor. We need to receive that passive income. We thrive through passive income and we're always living above our means. We're never shrinking, we're expanding and we understand that money is created with debt, okay? And debt is tax-free. So we want to be in as much debt as possible, but first we need to get good debt and then use that good debt to buy any liabilities that we want and pay for that expense of those liabilities with the cash flow from the good debt that's being invested in sound assets that we're controlling with our companies. And we want to turn them into brands by adding intrinsic value, protecting what is unique that we're doing through the legalities and of course having business integrity meaning that the business is built to make a profit and it's cash flowing and we can show it. There's no reason to hide money because we're using the laws to minimize taxes all the way to zero. And since this is a capitalist country, the laws are in favor for the wealth entrepreneur and side investors. So there's no reason to do anything illegal because we don't want to jeopardize the ultimate goal of what we are going to achieve, which is freedom, right? Once we get cash flow coming in, we get more freedom, more freedom. And that's what we want to focus on because a lot of people have money, but they don't have freedom. They have to be stuck somewhere. The idea is to have cash flow coming in from different sources, different assets, so that we can enjoy our life, we can live on the edge of life based on our intuition, making the right choices, living our dreams, fulfilling our purpose in life, figuring out our destination, where we're going, what things we want to leave in the world, and we can actually focus and accomplish that because we have mastered the most important element, let's say, which is money. Bringing you the good and bad news of money, the business principles at work in all economies. I appreciate your time for being here with me today. Make sure you go to our website, get our eBooks, click the link in the description somewhere around this video, subscribe to the channel, share the content, turn on the notifications, and make sure to get started today. Write the thoughts down that you have about your ideas regarding any type of business or anything that comes to mind. Write them down on your notes and build a plan. Remember, investing is a plan. So we were not going to be doing any investing without a plan. We need to figure that out first. We need to put a plan together. We need to invest in our financial education. We need to write a winning business plan. And our next book that we're working on, our fifth book, is about right in the winning business plan so stay tuned we have a lot more coming in the next days and we're excited to share all of these great tools of success and building wealth with our members here at master investor stay extraordinary and wealthy thank you and bye for now